check out this show and more great photography podcasts at photocastnetwork.com. photocastnetwork.com. Welcome to the Digital Photography Podcast Video Edition, episode number 27. In the next few episodes, I'm going to be going over some of the cool new features in Adobe's Creative Suite 4, uh, specifically Photoshop CS4. And in this one, I'm just going to show you something that I discovered tonight that is pretty cool. And I'm not really entirely sure what application it's going to have to the photographer, but if you're a Photoshop user, you're just going to find this really cool. So let me open up a file here. This is just a random texture file of some rock. And what I want to do, first of all, is go to the Layers palette and go Command-J to create a duplicate of the background layer and get rid of the background layer. And then what I want to do is select the entire image and because you're going to see in a few minutes what I'm actually going to do with this, uh, because of what I'm going to do with it, I want it to be blurred a little bit so it's not quite so sharp. Uh, radius, yeah, probably right about there will be good. Okay, so we have the texture loaded and the blur applied. Now I'm going to open up another image, this uh, star background select most of it. I don't want the, looks like there's some mountains in the foreground here. I don't want those. So I've got that selected and I'm just going to press the V key for move and move it over into my original document. Get rid of this. And as you can see now when you do the move command you've got some handles here. You can scale it and get it just the way you want it. Press enter. It's set. Okay, and for what I'm about to do, I'm going to want the stars in the background, so I'm going to move them down underneath layer 1, then go back up and select layer 1, and this is where the cool bit happens. Let's see here. We go to the 3D menu, and go down to New Shape from Layer, and go down to Sphere, and wait just a second as it generates. And now it's taken that image file of that texture and created a sphere. Now that in itself is not too cool, but it is an actual 3D object as you can see. I can rotate it. That's pretty cool. Okay, now the lighting looks really wrong here, so I'm going to make some adjustments here in the 3D scene menu. Now I haven't studied this enough to tell you what and why and how certain things are done in the 3D scene menu, but I have played around with it enough to know that I want to turn off light number three and light number one, and I want to select light number two, and then I want to just move the source of the light something like that, and then I want to play around with the intensity of the light a little bit, as if the sun is shining on this planet. Oop, that's too much. Yeah, that's too much. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now it looks like we've got sun coming from over here somewhere, shining on the planet. And the last thing I want to do is the the background to me is a little overpowering, so I want to select layer two and go to image adjustments. We'll just do brightness, keep it real simple, and just tone it down quite a bit so the background sort of drops off into the background. And there you go. In just a few steps we've created a planet and uh, the space behind it, and it's an actual 3D object that you can manipulate. Now what exactly you can do with this or, or what you know uh, purpose this might have for a photographer, I'm not really sure, but as I said, it's just really cool and it just demonstrates some of the really interesting power that's built into the new Photoshop CS4. So I'm going to show uh, you guys little tidbits like this as I discover them and I'll keep posting up these uh, video podcasts. Uh, probably fairly often. I know it's been quite a while since I've done one, but now that CS4 is coming out, uh, there's going to be a lot to talk about. So, until next time, 
Keep on shooting. Check out this show and more great photography podcasts at photocastnetwork.com. Photocastnetwork